thanks for making the time to join us today. My name is Victor Marquez. I'm Deco Network Sales and Marketing Manager. And with us today is our Deco Pro expert, Zach Dewhurst. As a Deco Pro consultant, Zach uses his 10 plus years of experience to help other custom decorating businesses become more efficient and profitable through the implementation of Deco Network and custom tailored strategies. For today's webinar, Zach will be covering how to optimize your website for conversion. And throughout the webinar, if you have any questions for SAC, feel free to write them in the chat. We'll be going over your questions at the end of the webinar with a 10 minute Q&A session with everyone. With that said, SAC, the floor is all yours. So let's get it started. So today we're going over how to optimize your website for conversion. Uh, my name is Zach Dewhurst, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself before we get started. So uh, just a few months ago, I just got married to my wife, in a couple of weeks, I turned 30, and in a few months, we're having a daughter. So a lot of different life uh, changes all at once, and over the last 10 years, um, we've been building the business up to what it is today, and um, it all revolves around Deco Network. So back in the December of 2010, I found Deco Network. I was on Sanmar's supplier website, and I just essentially stumbled upon it. And I can remember where I was and what I was doing when I found the software because instantaneously I felt, fell in love because it is essentially game-changing software. And um, I quickly changed my entire business model to revolve around Deco Network software in a variety of different ways. Um, I was studying uh, marketing at the Fisher College of Business at The Ohio State University. So my sophomore year of obtaining my degree, um, I found Deco Network and I started a t-shirt printing business. And again, instantaneously made my business revolve around Deco Network and all of the affiliate website opportunities. Uh, what's amazing with Deco Network is the affiliate opportunities uh, was very interesting to me coming from a marketing background and being 21 at the time of finding the software. I had grown up with technology and, and really knew how to wield it better than uh, the majority of people who were twice my age. So while in school, I started a few different uh, brands and they revolve around different types of products and services. So my business primarily revolves around creating custom screen print heat transfers. So printphase.com, if you were to go there, that is where you can purchase custom screen print transfers because transfers are the most supplier oriented product that you can sell in the industry that's not apparel. Uh, I don't like working with the end consumer. Uh, I, I don't have to explain to you guys how annoying they can be often the time. I like working with decoration businesses and supplying them with screen print transfers to allow them to fulfill orders, whether they are affiliate repeat orders or they're just trying to uh, use it as a substitute for direct screen printing and so forth. And in order to really generate leads and, and build relationships, I started something called Deco Experts just a couple years after finding the software. And essentially, right after uh, signing up for the software, uh, nine years ago, Deco Network was, a, I don't know, maybe a tenth of the size and capability it is today, but it probably was three times harder to set up because it just, again, was in its infancy stages compared to where it is now. So over the past eight years, I have set up many different fulfillment centers for um, different printing and embroidery businesses. So I created the brand Deco Experts um, in 2000, I wanna say like 12. And just a couple of years ago, Deco Network introduced Deco Pro, which was essentially what I was already doing. And for over the past year, I've been now uh, working with Deco Network as a Deco Pro in which I, I help Deco Network users get the most out of the software through consulting and website design services. Deco Network uh, is extremely powerful software that can often be a little intimidating, and in order to get the most out of it around your business model, you need to work with someone who, A, understands the language of the software and how everything works, and B, understands the custom decoration industry. There's a lot of variables to take into account and we must get every one of them properly configured within the software for it to all work perfectly around your business model. Lastly, we essentially created an online university called decodegree.com. 
This is where you can access over 300 education articles and videos that explore virtually everything about the custom decoration industry. Um, for example, Ryan Nett, uh, ScreenPrintSupplies.com. Ryan Nett essentially ta taught a lot of us screen printing nowadays because he's got by far the best education materials about screen printing. Well, it was our goal to do the same type of stuff for the general decoration industry as a whole, and a lot of it pertaining to using Deco Network software because software is what will make or break a business nowadays. Uh, technology is the future, and if you're not using it, you will be uh, essentially weeded out by your competition. What we launched yesterday is the Custom Decoration Industry News Channel. It is hosted at decoexperts.blog, and essentially, uh, what we're doing is every Monday we are releasing articles that relate to anything related to the custom decoration industry and a lot of the times very specific to Deco Network software. So before we led up to this webinar, we actually wrote five different blog articles on the steps to building a website. And pretty much today's uh, webinar is going to be a summarization of those articles. Every Wednesday we release a 10 to 15 minute video, which is kind of our version of a podcast in which we are meeting with industry experts to talk about anything within the industry to just kind of in a way bring Printware Magazine um, almost to life through video. And um, we've teamed up with Deco uh, Network to really make this a lot of fun and educational content that we hope that a lot of you guys are gonna be attending each week to check out our uh, information. Lastly, um, this is not my first webinar. I was actually the first Deco Network licensee to ever do a webinar, and it was six years ago. And it was about um, how to grow your business with affiliate stores. So we won't be taking six year gaps between webinars. Our next webinar will revolve around the tips and tricks to getting the most out of Deco Network affiliate websites. At the end of the day, I uh, decoration business wants their main website to sell custom decoration services and then um, you want to actually get the most out of the software you're going to provide a lot of your clients with their own websites to essentially just be a lead generation uh, sales channel for your business allowing them to essentially sell products and you to drop ship fulfill for them so look out for our next webinar which will be in a uh, month or two and that'll be very important for anybody using Deco Network software and wants to get the most out of the affiliate opportunities. Now, when it comes to affiliate websites, realize that with, with Deco Network, the 500 websites are all identical. There, there is nothing different between them if you're on the premium plan. So with the most common types of websites that are going to be within a fulfillment center are A, a custom decoration business that revolves around promoting products and services. So you, this is essentially our uh, customink.com. Everybody who signs up for the Deco Network pretty much wants their own version of Custom Inc. that they're going to be selling, promoting their, their products, letting their customers choose a product, and then after they've added, then design it in the design tool and then make a purchase or request a quote. That's what pretty much everybody wants to do with their main website. Then you can start really kind of making your company a little bit more, um, I would say diversified by launching your own types of retail niche brands. It could just be a local thing or, or just something you're passionate about. So niche retail brands, uh, we could just essentially launch a website, add artwork to products that we print on demand, and then if the product sells, we make money. If it doesn't, we just spent time. Um, that's the beautiful thing about listing retail products on a website is we don't want to incur any costs until a product is sold optimally. So it's there's the only risk that we're taking is time. Now, when it comes to working with your clientele, they're going to revolve around using either a fundraising website or an ordering portal. The majority are going to want some type of fundraising website. So it could be a business, a musician, an artist, um, a sports team, a school. There, virtually anybody would want to make money selling apparel products, or, or really, you can list any product in Deco Network. Now, when it comes to the fundraising, the opportunity is, hey, instead of holding a bunch of printed inventory at your business or school or wherever, uh, and then hoping that it sells and getting stuck with certain sizes and all that, 
let your customers come to an online website and we can virtually offer them everything they would ever imagine and we'll drop ship fulfill for you and you don't take any risk you just make money every time an order is, is processed and again that's what we were talking about six years ago with our last webinar but you know in the past six years deco network software has greatly changed and um, the affiliate website opportunity could not be in a better position with um, all of the updates that have occurred over the past couple of years with deco network software the last type of affiliate website is some type of ordering portal so a lot of the times we work with sports teams or uh, big companies and so forth and employees want to place orders or coaches need to place orders and it can become a paperwork mess. And at the end of the day, typically one person's supposed to get billed for it and, and whatnot. So we can actually build ordering portals that revolve around requiring a username and password to access the website. That way nobody can just find it. And then whoever's responsible for placing orders, whether it's one or many people, can log into the website, place the order, and if it needs to be paid then, it can be. If it, if it needs to be batch production and paid by one individual at the end, we can make it that way. But at the end of the day, we're making it much easier for many different parties. The one who does the uh, ordering, the one who, the coach, and us, the printers. So there's many different types of affiliate websites that, that we can build. And today we're gonna focus on this custom decoration uh, one. These others, tune into our next webinar. So the majority of us are, uh, again, we're gonna build a custom decoration website. So Print Genie here uh, signed up for Deco Network about a month ago and they want to get the most out of the software. So they contacted us for Deco Pro Services and we essentially have built several website templates, a website uh, for their main company. And, um, and now at this point, we are going to build a new custom decoration website template. So when it comes to Deco Network, uh, when we build a website, we are logged in and all we have to do is come to edit website, website pages. What's beautiful with Deco Network nowadays is that everything is designed using a what you see, what you get editing style. So what you see, what you get is essentially we are updating the content live. You know, I am moving this around and I'm changing colors and I'm seeing it happen in real time versus in the old days, we would have to use custom code to make something look nice and we would have to go into the source, we type a bunch of weird lines of text and then we'd hit save and cross our fingers and hope that it came out right on the other end. It, it, it's just not the best way to do things and custom code breaks and, and whatnot. So what Deco Network uh, has built for us is the ultimate, really, customer relationship management tool, it, it, or uh, I'm sorry, not customer relationship, content management system. So a content management system is what we manage uh, the content for our website. And what we have here is very easy, again, drag and drop tools that require zero website coding. I have built dozens of Deco Network websites and I can't write one line of custom code and I can barely copy and paste it if it was given to me. So when it comes to building a website, it's just important that we not become overwhelmed and we try to simplify the entire process as much as possible. And we're gonna do that by, again, just breaking it into certain steps. Over here on the left are all our main uh, tools for designing a page or essentially the entire site. And a good way to look at them is let's figure out what we need to address right off the bat and then what are we going to be using long term. So the first thing we have to do when it comes to the website is select a theme. And when it comes to the theme, don't get caught up on it too much. What it really revolves around is the layout of the header. So the header has our logo and then our main navigation. So our current theme, the logo sits on top or the, the site title sits on top and then the navigation's here versus this theme, which is one of my favorites. Uh, the logos are gonna act, the logo's gonna be on the far left and the main navigation's gonna be in the middle. So once you change a theme, you, you are making some several updates to the site. That is why you want to do it straight from the get-go. 
Uh, you don't want to be changing themes very often. And again, when we're selecting the theme, at the end of the day, we're selecting the header layout because everything else about the theme is totally customizable. The only part of the website that is hard for us to really edit at all is the header. We just, it, because of re it has to display properly on all types of devices and it's really important to the navigation, it's not something that can easily be edited like any other part of the software or the pages in the website. Now that we've selected our theme, we do not need to worry about this again. So you can essentially forget about it. What we need to do now is we essentially need to establish our navigation or our primary pages for our website. So what we have already are some pages that have already been created for us and we can add or delete any pages as well. So what we're first gonna do is we're gonna go over some of these core pages and turn some of them off and, and move them around and so forth. What we have here at the top are the products design and create page and if you notice all three of these pages have a little blue icon and these are unique system pages. So these three pages correlate with widgets right here. So the create page shows blank products. Within the widgets, we have a blank product listing and a blank product category. Same thing with designs and products. But what really makes them unique is the content that we are displaying is pretty much all created from the back end of the website and or fulfillment center. So the create, the create is really gonna show our blank apparel um, or essentially our blank available products. So instead of create, I'm gonna rename this, um, let's do customizable products and we'll click save. Now what you'll see is the content is being pulled in from the back end. So all of the all of the, the products are really configured from the fulfillment center and then the affiliate website decides which of the fulfillment center products they want to list on this page to sell. Now, because it is a system page, what you'll notice is it already has a drop down navigation. Essentially, the subcategories of the products are the sub pages of this, of this page. And the same thing goes with designs and products. Now the products page and the designs page, these are not very often used with custom decoration websites. These are more or less used with affiliate websites because one, the designs page revolves around displaying designs for sale that essentially the customer can select a design and then what product they want it printed on and then from there, they can make the final selections as far as uh, size and color and add it to cart. Now, this browse design, all of those designs are uploaded in the back end of the website. And thus, you have to upload designs for them to display here. And then all of the drop down sub pages are the subcategories of designs in the back end. So again, the designs page and the pre decorated retail products this products page, I'm gonna rename this retail products. These pages are primarily used on affiliate websites who are going to be selling pre-decorated pre products. So the products here are created in the back end of the affiliate website in which the affiliate is taking a blank product, they are adding their artwork to it, and then they are designating the final retail price to be sold on the website. So at the moment, we're going to turn, we're going to hide, not turn off, the retail products and the browse design pages. The, these two pages are the primary content on most affiliate websites, but on a custom decoration business, we want to be pushing custom products. Now, what correlates with the custom products page is the online design tool. And the online design tool is simply awesome. And you can navigate the product line on the online design tool, but the majority of decoration businesses first want the customer to select a product before arriving on the tool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose to not show this page in the menu. 
I don't want the customer to go immediately to the design tool and then have to pick the right product. I want them first to pick a product and then get here. Always put the horse before the carriage. Now, what I could do, what, but I don't, is I could come to advanced and I could turn the page off and it still wouldn't show in the menu, but if you turn a page off like this, you're gonna lose certain functionality. So you don't wanna be turning off too many pages, you just wanna be hiding them a lot of the time. Next, we have the about and the contact pages. Now, back in the day, around 10, 15 years ago, the about page was extremely important because the internet was still kind of a risky place to make a purchase. Nowadays, the consumers trust most websites and the, con the about page is just not visited as often as it once was. And so it became a less heavy uh, content-based page. And what's become more and more common is Instead of having an about page with a little bit of content and a contact page with a little bit of content, let's make it about slash content. Contact, I'm sorry. So I'm actually gonna clone this and we're gonna go over that in a second. And one of my secrets is to drag something into the footer. If On every page, the footer is the same. So if you wanna kind of sneak content from one page to another, drag it into the footer, go to your next page that you want to uh, grab it from and drag it out of the footer onto the page. So now, for example, this about slash contact page, we can go from two, you know, semi-decent pages to one really nice page and our navigation is going to be a lot cleaner and so forth. So we'll save that. Let me come back to the contact page and hide it. And the last two pages I wanna talk about right now are the request a quote and the quick quote. Now, the request a quote and the quick quote revolve around two applications virtually. And they are really cool tools and they both serve great purposes. But at the same time, if you're a consumer, which that's what you should, you are a consumer and you should be putting yourself in the uh, consumer's shoes, if you have two quote options in your header, you might be confusing your customer. So what I prefer to do is I'm gonna make a new page. I'm gonna come to add page. I'm gonna put get a quote. And what get a quote is, is it's going to allow me to break down the two request a quote, the request a quote and the quick quote options. And I am going, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this page to navigate to, the get a quote page to navigate to these two applications and then we're gonna hide these two. So to design pages on Deco Network, all we had to do was first select our page and then second, we're gonna come into the widgets or panel section. Now, to get content on a page, we come to widgets and Deco Network has created over 30 design widgets. They range from text to headers, to buttons, to listings, to images, videos, sliders, virtually any type of content you can imagine displaying on a website or a page on a website. Deco Network has created a widget that we then just select and we drag it onto the page and then make configurations from there. Now, when it comes to configuring a widget, it all first starts with configuring rows and columns. Rows and columns are what really organizes the content on a page. So a good way to look at it is like a newspaper. A, a lot of newspapers, they'll, they'll have content really organized all over the place and it, it's broken up into rows and columns most of the time. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make this row, which is now one column. We're gonna turn it into a four column row and now you can see we can upload content into four columns. We've essentially broken up the ability to separate content into four columns here. And that could be four images, could be four buttons, could be anything we want it to be. And I could then, for instance, I could come here and I could make this a two column and I could drag this four into the two. And now I could have four right here and this would be one. So again, it's very logical in the way it organizes. And then what's really important is 
how does it do on other devices? And that's what's great about Deco and this what's the, what you see, what you get, because immediately, and it's hard to see without any content, but I can see what this is gonna look like on a tablet. What's it gonna look like on an iPad? I can look at what is it gonna look like on a phone? You know, Do I need to make configuration changes from here? Um, are, is the content gonna stack? Is it gonna stretch? How's it all gonna act? And it's, and it all again makes a lot of sense. It just takes a little bit of uh, experience to, to get to really grasp it. So let's build this page real quick where we're gonna link to the two quoting options. So I'm gonna make this a two column row and I'm gonna come into widgets, heading. I'm gonna drag it over here. And what you will notice, so every widget we drag onto the page, we have a ton of different settings. Don't get overwhelmed. The first two are unique to each widget. And as far as this, the only thing I could do in the settings portion is add a link. So nothing to worry about there. The design is gonna be unique for every widget. In this case, I can choose, okay, how bold do I want the text? How um, big do I want it? What color do I want it to be? Uh, and again, we're editing in real time, it's much easier. So uh, in this case, tell us what you're looking for. And I'm gonna come to layout and alignment center. The background through the advanced is pretty much identical for every single widget. So once you know how to do this on one widget, you know how to do it on all of them. I can come here now, and if I want, I can clone this. And instead of telling us what you're looking for, I'm gonna bring it over here and um, want an instant price is the other option. Come to widgets, and I wanna add a button. I add a button, drag it down here. I'm gonna make this request a quote, go to the link, and I'm gonna make it go to the request a quote page. I'm gonna to come to the design portion. So again, you can see it is different than the last widget. And I'm gonna make my background color, make it red. And we're gonna give it a border, make it black. And every button is pretty much a link, which means we want it to hover. And we're gonna reverse the color scheme. And I can see what it's gonna look like by just hovering right there. Again, Deco Networks, what you see, what you get tools. Not only are they easy, they're fun. I mean, this is a lot of fun to design, especially compared to what websites used to be like to design. Um, so in this, I wanna make it get a quick quote. Come to request a quote, and we will make it quick quote. Boom. And we can space this out a little bit. Now, I'm gonna hit save. Every time we make updates, we wanna save. Until we hit publish, nothing is live. So we can make a lot of updates and we don't have to push it live until later. All right. so. The next thing I wanna talk about is um, just establishing our general color scheme and continuity throughout the website. So right now, what, what you'll notice with most websites nowadays, it's all about being clean. And the cleanest color is typically white. And you see, you'll see a lot of white and you'll see a lot of light grays. What I wanna do is I wanna break up the content from the body, the header I should say, to the body, to the footer. So. I'm gonna come into design and outside of the, um, we could come into the style editor and the style editor is where we're going to be able to establish all of the colors that we want to be using throughout the header, the body, uh, even the footer, and even some of our most popular widgets, primarily being the header and the button. So I'm gonna to come to the navigation and I'm gonna select that red I just used and we'll click on it, make it a little bit thicker, and we'll edit the hover, we'll make it a gray, and we'll make the active, bring it up, make it black. But what I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna come here into the body, and I'm gonna make it a pure white. And now you can see the white of the header and the body are pretty similar. 
what what most websites have is a page title at the top of every uh, page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to widgets, one column, drag it up, come back to widgets, page title. A page title is a lot like a header, except it's automatic a lot of the time. So I'm going to come to alignment. I'm going to center it. Come back to design. Sorry, I'm going kind of fast. You can always rewatch our videos on YouTube. And I'm going to make this that red. And we're going to come back to the row. Background. Make Let's make the background that same nice light gray. And let's make the layout, stretch, content, full page bleed. Now you can see we've essentially started establish, breaking up the header from the body from the footer. Now, on every page, I want this to be there. So what am I going to do? I'm going to clone it, and I'm going to drag it in the footer. And on each page, I can now turn that on. Um, and I'll show you in a second. So one, let's make sure we hide the request a quote page hide the quick quote page and I think we had our products page still on oh it's off come to about contact Get this about slash contact down here in the footer let's clone it let's drag it up Drop it, delete this. You can see we're going to have a lot more. When it comes to cloning, it's less about speed and it's more about consistency. I want things to look the same throughout the entire website, uh, more than just trying to design it really quickly. Drag it up here. Now see how much better that looks versus just this. And again, all I had to do was make one decision on one page and then I copy it to the rest. Again, it's when it comes to designing websites, it's all about working smart than hard. Uh, we don't want to uh, work harder than kind of we need to, and we don't want to overcomplicate things. So, right now, the get a quote is going to lead us to two quoting options, which are going to be uh, all really application based. The custom products are we're really just can displaying the blank products we may can figured in the back end of the fulfillment center and then once they select a product they go onto the online design tool there's no content to add there the about contact we already have our map we have our uh, contact widget all we need to do is add a paragraph about ourselves where we might be adding more contact our content is potentially adding a services page so the services um, the reason why you might want to have this it talks about your different decoration services but if you're going to be offering affiliate websites, this is where I would be talking about those affiliate websites um, and, and all the opportunities and so forth that go along with them. Lastly, let's talk about the home page. So the home page is the one page that you're going to spend the bulk of your time making look custom and beautiful. And a great way to do it, it's instead of just using straight widgets, so widgets, again, as you know, it has tons of different types of content, as we've shown. Panels are essentially pre-formatted text and image widgets. So I could come into large banners, and I could drag this banner on here, and I already have a background image that I could just simply swap out, or I could change the text uh, here, I could change the button in any way, and, you know, it, it just kind of allows you to start getting a little bit of inspiration of how you want to lay everything out, um, on the website itself because it, it, a lot of it's just formatted for you and it's changing a variable. Um, so again, when it comes to a custom decoration website, in conclusion, don't make it overly difficult for the customer to find really what they're trying to do. What they're trying to do is they're trying to come to your website. They're going to, what we want, they want to come to this products page. They want to select the product and then they're either going to purchase it or they're going to um, request a quote after they have added their artwork and text in the online design tool. So um, when it comes to utilizing Deco Network software, the software is very logical. It's a lot of fun to use. And 
But at, at the end of the day, it's very robust and it has a nice learning curve at times. So if you want to get the most out of the software, you really need to be using um, a Deco Pro. So if you ever uh, are interested, you come to Deco Network and you could come to Deco Pro. And from here, you can request a Deco Pro. Now, there are only a few of us that are Deco Pros because we love and have used Deco Network for so long and we understand the decoration industry from the inside out. It, it, again, it takes a very unique skill set to be able to satisfy all of the questions and requests that a Deco Network user could throw at us. So if you want to uh, look at my website, decoexperts.com, I kind of piggybacked off of Deco's uh, domain name. Uh, this is where you can learn all about our decoration uh, service packages and so forth. Uh, what we like to do is everything when it comes to website design, it doesn't do us much good if we just design everything real quickly and don't show you how it was actually done. So what we like to do is more or less have coaching sessions very similar to this webinar where we are um, going over how to configure the website and every aspect of the software and answering any question that a licensee might have. So um, again, if your Deco Network is game-changing software, but if you're gonna get the most out of it, uh, definitely look us up on decoexperts.com and let us know if you're interested in uh, getting some help on getting the most out of the software. With that, I will let Victor turn it over to the Q&A.